My next guest is a UFC lightweight fighter who's got a 7-1 record, and he's looking for a fight right now. It's been a while since we've seen him in the cage. Of course, I am joined today by David Tamer. David, how are you? Thank you. I'm very fine. How are you, James? I'm doing very well, David. It's good to talk to you again. I actually uh, was in the post-fight media scrum at UFC 218 when you won your last fight. And I know after that, you talked about going to Miami and, and taking some time off. How was Miami? Yeah, I, it was awesome. I love it. You know, I get uh, the weather was good, food good, you know, so I get a really good vacation after the fight. So I really enjoy it. I really enjoy it. That's good. I'm glad you, and it was well-deserved because, of course, you're, you're coming off a big win over a Dracar Close. Um, how happy were you with your performance in that fight? I mean, it was, I was, I was, I was, I was happy, you know, you know, because you, 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 I have put so much work, uh, for, you know, for every time when I, when I fight and when you win, you know, you celebrate and uh, I was really, really happy. Yeah, really happy. That's great. And of course, you know, you beat Lando Venata, you beat Dracar Close, you know, two really up and coming prospects. Were you surprised that win didn't propel you up the rankings into the top 15? Yeah, yeah, maybe a little bit, yeah. Uh, but I don't know, it's not, it's not so much uh, I can do. So right now, I'm, uh, I, I want to fight uh, uh, at least top 10 or top 15 guy. Uh, I'm, I mean, like, I, I, I'm ready to go and uh, yeah. I can't wait to step into that octagon again. Yeah, and for those who don't know, why haven't you fought since December? Has it just been difficulty getting fights? Have fights fallen through? Uh, I was I was supposed to fight now in uh, April. Uh, I was talking. Uh, we was talking with, with my manager, and uh, they have contact with the UFC. Uh, so uh, I was supposed to fight in the in the in the Jersey event. But uh, the, the, it's the, yeah, the fight is not gonna be it's not gonna be the fight. Uh, I was supposed to fight Jim Miller. Uh, that was all the information I got. Uh, but the fight is not gonna gonna be now. So it's not it's not much to do. Uh, so I hope to get another fight. Uh, so let's see what uh, what UFC has to bring to the table for me. Yes, and and would you like to be on that on that Ireland card cuz that's a, that's a card that's coming up and you know I would imagine be not that far uh, travel wise. Uh yeah, yeah of course, of course. I mean like Ireland to Sweden is is not so far. Uh so yeah, why not? Uh, I'm ready to go, you know, put a good show in uh, UFC Ireland. Yeah. And, and I know one of the names you mentioned uh, that you would, that you wanted to fight was Ross Pearson. Um, and and just you know, for those who don't know, what, what's sort of the reason for fighting Ross? Because uh, you know, Ross is you know he, he won his last fight, but he's been on a bit of a slide. He's from that area, and uh, you know, I'm also close to that area, so I think it would be a good matchup. Uh, the people gonna gonna love the gonna love the the fight. So we're gonna we're gonna put a good show for all the crowd and the people. All, all around the world so yeah it's gonna be a good one and, and i know the other name you mentioned as well was clay guida it, it seems like you want a veteran that's you know you you beat all these prospects now it's time to get a, an actual you know notable yeah. name is that sort of what you're looking at yes i i deserve a i deserve a guy that, like i told you like a, a ranked guy uh so if you ask me i want to fight the champion no but yeah <laughs> like they say Rome did build on one night, so you got to take, you know, the step by step. So, you know, uh, like I said, a top ten or top fifteen guy, uh, I want to have, I want to fight for. Yeah. So what's that like? You know, you're in the gym, you're training, you're waiting for a fight. Are you just sort of, uh, you know, because you can't really structure a training camp? Or are you just in there, sort of working on, uh, you know, just everyday things? Yeah, right now I do my training every day. Uh, the training is going good. Uh, so right now it's just to you know like training, repeat uh, your yeah you know your, your your I don't know it's your it's your boxing, standing up, your you know whatever MMA is very is a lot of uh, things you know it's like boxing, time boxing, resting, all these things. So I mean like you just need to yeah, develop your game and you know you every day you're learning something you know. So yeah. It's yeah, like that, yeah. And and for those who don't know, where are you training right now, and who are some of your main training partners? Uh, right now, I'm training here in uh, Stockholm, uh, Stockholm, Sweden. So 
I mean, like I train with the, uh, you know, guys like uh, Alexander Gustafsson. Yeah, you know, Ilya Latifi. So there's a lot of good guys over here. That's great. And uh, so I have my, my little sister here. Oh, that's Say great. Say hi to the camera. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Thank you, you all, too. All the way from Canada. <laughs> All the, all the way I'm from Canada. Oh, okay. Hello. There you go. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Uh -huh. Bye-bye. She, she bring me a coffee. That's good. That's important. You got to yeah, stay away. Because, yeah, yeah, I got to mention, uh, for those who don't know, it's about uh, it's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon here in Toronto, Canada. And it's uh, about 8 o'clock your time, right? Yeah, it's uh, 8 o'clock here in Sweden now. So, it's yeah, it's dark outside. <laughs> oh, wow. That's great. So, you're you're in the future right now, I guess. You know, you could, uh, you know, get me a lottery ticket or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, now, w when you're obviously in training and you don't have a fight, are you still trying to keep your diet down just in case a short notice opportunity com comes up? Like, are you trying to stay around 155? Uh, no. I mean, like, w when I, when I uh, you know, when I get into the training camp, uh, the, the, the weight, like, uh, like you, 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 you need to timing it good, you know? So... Uh, I've been doing this for a long time. I mean, like regularly, I training and eat. I don't focus so much on my weight. But before fights, it's more the diet. Everything is more focused on the on the weight and things like that. But uh, usually, when I don't when I don't have fights, I training. I eat. I eat just regular regular food. But before fights, you know, the last weeks you cut off all the carbs and these things. So it's more like uh, yeah, you know, low uh, salad. Proteins, a lot of proteins, drink water, that way. <laughs> and are you looking to do any cross training down the line? You mentioned your gym. You, you train with a you know a great group of guys, but are you looking to do any cross training maybe in the United States? Uh, so far, no. I don't have any plans to to have my uh, training camp in the states. But uh, I, I, I wanna I wanna go to the to the new UFC. Oh, Performance uh, Institute. Yeah, Performance Institute, my uh, second home. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, I wanna, yeah, I wanna like training there, and uh, I've been, I've been there. I see the gym, you know, they have a lot of good. Uh, I mean, like uh, they look, they, they, they have the octagon, the ring, the training bags and weights and everything. So, I, I, I've been, I've been there, and. Uh, yeah, I was like, next time I'm going to do my training camp here, I'm going to be like Terminator. <laughs> yes, for sure. Yeah, so it was like a, a really good place. So, uh, yeah, I, I want to go visit there and do a good training over there for like a couple, couple of weeks. Yeah, Yeah, and assuming you get a, a fight booked here soon, uh, how many times are you looking to fight this year? Do you want three fights or would you, you know, you, what's sort of the, 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 the game plan? Uh, it's it's, it's depends, but like... Uh, as much as UFC uh, give me fights, I, I, I'm taking. It. I, I'm go, I'm going for it. Yeah. Are you watching any TV right now? Any Netflix? Anything like that? Mm, I like to watch these documentaries. You know, Natural Geographic when they show the the animals in the in like in Africa, Kenya, these things. So it's it's really interesting. You know, to watch the the lions and the the nature. You know, how the all this. You know, the yeah, it's, it's really interesting. Yeah, no, that, that's great. Um, and what about, I got to ask this just because I'm Canadian. Do you watch hockey at all? Because I know hockey's big in Sweden. Yeah, actually before uh, I did some I did some hockey, but not long time. I did like one and a half year because in Sweden, the hockey is really big over here. Yes. Uh, so, but I'm like, not, not, I'm not like a huge fan of the hockey, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, uh, sometimes it's happened. I watching the, the the hockey. I know in Canada is really really big. Well, I'm from Vancouver originally, and uh, the the two big players on on Vancouver are the Sedin twins, Daniel and Henrik Sedin. I don't know if you've heard of them before. Dendrick, they're from Sweden, yeah. Yeah, they're from Sweden. They're twin brothers, yeah, 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 and they play on the same yeah, team. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah. I heard I heard this name. Yeah, yeah, I heard this. I mean, like, yes, Sweden have a, a very big uh, nation of uh, the hockey. So. Yeah, yeah, they have you have a lot of good players from uh, Sweden. Yeah, <laughs> they do. No, it's it's they're they're really good in hockey. And um, have you ever been to a hockey game before? Yeah, I've been once time here in the town in in Stockholm. Uh, yeah, I've been. Uh, yeah, I, w I was one time here and watched the the hockey. It was fun, you know. But uh, and NOL, I haven't watched. Uh, 
uh, I haven't watched it yet. I see they do some some good fights also. Yes, also in the, of course. Yeah, yeah. during during the game. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. That's great. Okay, cool. Well, that sounds good. Well, David, I want to thank you so much for taking the time here tonight. I really appreciate it. Just to remind people where they can find you on social media, and if you have any sponsors or shoutouts, the floor is yours, sir. Uh, they can find me on social media: Instagram, Twitter, David Tamer. So I always putting you know like things what's going on and all this, so people can follow me and see. And, and uh, also, I want to thank my thank the yeah, thank you, James. For, for being here now, I'm very happy to do the live here podcast with you. Thank you. I'm uh, really, I'm really happy. And uh, also, I want to take my uh, sponsor, Bethard, who is uh, helping me to, you know, make it easier for me to focus more on the things what I'm doing, like my my game, my the MMA. Uh, so they helping me, you know, with the I mean, but yeah. Uh, economically, you know, it's, it's, it's helping me to do what I like, what I like most to do, you know. So yeah, and I also I want to thank all the all the all the fans uh, over the whole world who who's uh, for all the support and support and love. Uh, it's mean a lot. Uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you guys. I love you all.